Hi, my name is Caitlin. Um, I'm a South African English speaker. Uh, my father is Scottish and my mother is a typical South African, as you can imagine. Uh, we like to call them mongrels or mutts. Um, we're full on half-breeds here. Um, I'm an English teacher, um, not really by choice, unfortunately. I'd like to be a history teacher, but I teach English because there is a need for it in the uh, school that I work at. Um, I really enjoy English. It's one of these things that I, I've just grown up with, and I really appreciate what language offers me in terms of uh, knowledge and access, and I think sometimes a lot of people forget how important their language is. Um, and there's a big need to know about everyone else, and sometimes people tend to overlook their own. That being said, um, I don't think learning another language is something that shouldn't be done. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the more languages you know, the more people you can connect with. Um, I think sometimes in my past, just being able to go to other people know one or two words, to be able to understand another language has really helped. Um, but at the same time, being in a completely different culture where no one speaks your language is sometimes a bit of a culture shock when you speak English as your first language and you expect everyone in the world to speak English. And even as a South African, there's very South African words that we speak and no one seems to realise just how isolated those words are. So. I remember when I, on an overseas trip, my friend and I were talking and kept saying, yeah, 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 and which is the South African equivalent of yes. And we realized people would look at us and we weren't actually sure if they knew what, they, what we were saying. And it's a bit of a disturbing thing to realize that you're not being understood even when you think you should be. Um, but I still think just being able to communicate to people internationally and to find a common ground is something that a lot of people maybe lack. Um, people are very isolated in what they're given opportunities to get. And I think a project like this offers people not just an opportunity to, to know what else is out there, but to maybe hear something that, oh, that sounds really nice, and uh, get interested and involved in. Um, in terms of other things about myself, oh, <laughs> it's always so nerve-wracking. Um, I am 25, I'm a university student still, I'm busy studying my honours to be a better teacher and just to be a better academic and accept the world as a little bit more than what is often see, we see it as and to actually think about what's going on in our community. Um, so I think any sort of initiative that, where the internet can be used to understand and develop understanding is something that is worthwhile and needs to be considered. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm afraid I didn't use many South African slang terms. Turns out I'm a little bit more formal under stress than I realised. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh it's <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs>